on now to our newsmaker of the day, veteran BJP leader Jaswant Singh, always known for his candor and of course occasionally for taking a position that even runs contrarian to the party line. Jaswant Singh, our newsmaker tonight. Few people doubt that India is in a moment of uncertainty. In fact, sometimes it's beginning to feel that there's a growing sense of anarchy and restlessness in India. Almost every institution finds itself under attack and several other institutions perhaps are performing roles that they were never meant to perform. How shaken up is the internal equation within the democracy that is India? Somebody who has never been scared to speak his mind and has in fact been pointing to this growing crisis that seems to beset India today is veteran BJP leader and politician Jaswant Singh. Thank you, Mr. Singh. We always enjoy your candor. And you have been amongst the first to talk about how you have never quite seen the kind of uncertainty, the kind of crisis, the, the lack of self-confidence that seems to grip us as a country today. What's gone wrong for us? I think, uh, firstly, politician. I don't know if I'm a politician. Well, thank well you're you. more than a politician, thank but you. you're also a politician. Thank you. An uh, eight-time member of, of, of parliament. Thank you. But uh, do you know what has afflicted us? Is, I think a vacuum of certainties. Mm, I, I am struck by a thought, even as you were introducing what we have to talk about, that we, uh, we, must, uh, we must accept mm, in all honesty, for our own sakes, for India's sake, that we are now a dysfunctional democracy. Uh, we pride ourselves mm, on that we have continued down the democratic path. Let us stop for a moment, all of us. It, it, it's not mm, a condemnation of one or another. Let us all of us stop for a moment, look inwards and say, is democracy simply only holding elections? Periodically, <clears throat> and those elections held with the varying degrees of uh, honesty. A, a visiting dignitary from the West might well say, well, you got the gold label of mm. democracy, yeah. election, electioneering. And I don't think that should flatter us. What is dysfunctional about us today? What, what strikes you as the greatest dysfunctionality? I'll, I'll tell you, dysfunctional democracy, of course, the, the institutions of state are not functioning. Uh, a citizen, I'm born in a village, my home is a village, essentially I remain that in spirit. Mm. Do you know, the citizen these days is petrified of going to the state Theoretically, the state is a protector, the state is a provider, the state is to soothe us. Now, should we be troubled, the citizen is fearful because he, she thinks, if I go to the state, whether it is a Thanedar or a Tehsildar or a Patwari, I'll be stung. Mm. Do you know what was horrifying for me? to see, I saw a photograph, I don't know what hospital it was. The, the women in the toilet? Yes, they're camping, they're living there. It's a urinal. Yeah. And I said to myself, I don't know what should trouble me more, that my own citizens who have come because they seek medical relief are having to live in a urinal. Is that more horrifying than the fact that I take it for granted? There is ah, a... Ah, you ask me what is yes. dysfunctional democracy. This is not. Look, stop. Forgive me. Do you know, I, I was speaking to a friend just now. Dobri in Assam. Uh, I think the greatest sin today in Assam is to be a young woman who's going to have a baby. Mortality is 90. In Dubri, literacy in women is only 6%. Uh, who is the representative of Assam? 
in Rajya Sabha. I don't say it uh, to be little. I say it as to how we have ourselves caused so much harm to ourselves. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.